Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to talk about five quick tips inside Resolve 16. Let's get into it. DaVinci Resolve is an amazing editor, but with the update of 16, there's a lot of tricks inside there that not a lot of people know about. So I'm here to help you guys out. Let's jump inside Resolve and we'll go from there. So something a lot of people have encountered is you create a project, you're maybe working on it, maybe you've got half your timeline completely edited and everything ready to go. You save it, close it, you reopen that project later to, oh crap, I have unlinked clips, video clips, audio clips, uh, maybe effects, and you don't know what to do, you don't know why they went missing. So a quick tip for you guys is right click on the actual video clip that is missing, or if you have multiple, you can highlight all those. We're gonna scroll all the way down here to relink selected clips. It's gonna pop up with your actual hard drives that you have. So I'm gonna go into the Lacey that I know I have. I'm gonna scroll down to the actual folder that I believe it's inside. I'm gonna click on it, select it, and boom, we have our clip. Now keep in mind, this is a very basic demonstration. Sometimes you're gonna have to search the entire hard drive, but if you've got files missing, that's the way to do them. Our second tip is timelines. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click on it, create a new timeline, and instead of just going off of whatever set there, we're actually gonna go to use custom settings. And in here, we can actually change it to a multitude of many different things, whatever we want. If we wanna set the aspect ratio completely different, if we wanna change our monitor display, if we wanna change our output, all these things can be done inside the use custom settings button and you can change a whole lot more. It makes your life way easier, especially if you have multiple timelines and videos that you need to get done within one project. Project, this is the way you would do it all with inside one project. Our third tip is copying all the color corrections we have to multiple clips. We're gonna jump over here into the color tab. We're gonna select the clip that we actually want to change things to. I'm just gonna do something drastic just for the purpose of this video. If you guys actually want to see a full coloring tutorial, let me know in the comments below. Let's say basically this is just our exposure and color correction, just making it perfect. Uh, we're not trying to add LUTs on top right now. We're not trying Trying to do looks or anything like that. We're just trying to do the basics. We're just trying to make it look the best that it's supposed to look. And of course I went overboard just so you guys can see the purpose of what I'm doing. Let's say we wanna take this and copy it to a bunch of different other clips. So you have your clip selected, you're gonna hit option one. You're gonna scroll over on the next clip that you want to paste this stuff to and you're gonna hit command one. Boom, it dumps that over to the next clip. But keep in mind, you want to go through and tweak each clip. You're not wanting to just copy and paste everything. For the best look possible, you're going to want to actually adjust each clip accordingly. But this will also save you a lot of time and give you a really good starting point, especially if it was all shot within the same few seconds of each other and you're just trying to get relatively in the same ballpark. That brings me to tip number four, adjustment layers. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to the edit tab. We've got, let's say, our basic correction done to all of these right here. We're gonna go up here to the corner in the effects library, under effects, and we're gonna grab an adjustment clip right here. Drop it at the beginning, and we're gonna drag that all the way out. Now, if we go back into the color tab, we have an adjustment clip on top of it, and then we can go inside, we can start adding LUTs. Now you can see this looks absolutely terrible and I would never leave footage looking like this. I am just going above the top so you guys can see, but now you can see we have an adjustment clip and it's gonna cover the entire thing. Even if we jump back into the edit tab, it's gonna cover the whole video timeline. It's gonna cover everything. It's just like what it is inside Premiere having that adjustment layer above it, but this one is called an adjustment clip. And our last tip is all about audio. So let's drag a clip down here to the timeline. We're gonna jump over here here to the Fairlight tab, the first thing we're gonna do is we're actually going to right click on the clip, go down to normalize audio levels. We're gonna select where we want it to be and we're just gonna go, let's just say down four right now just for the video. And now it's kind of just bringing everything to a medium. So some parts I'm talking real quiet, some parts I'm talking real loud. It's kind of smoothing that out so you don't have really hot spots and then really quiet spots down low. And let's say the last thing that I wanna do is add a vocal enhancer to it just to make it sound that much better. There's a little bit of echo in there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over here to the effects and if it's not there, if this is not selected, just click effects and it'll pop it up. I'm gonna scroll down to, let's just say the vocal channel right now. It's gonna bring this up 
and I'm just going to set an in and out point and I'm gonna make sure my loop is set and I am just gonna play through that and I'm just gonna kind of tweak things as I see fit. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go right up here to the top, we're gonna hit the plus sign and we're gonna name this your mom. We're gonna hit okay. Let's jump back over here to the edit tab, grab another clip, we'll drop it down here, we'll set an out point, jump back to Fairlight. We're gonna do the same thing to it, we're gonna right click, normalize audio level, nine's fine, and we're gonna grab that vocal enhancer, drop it on top, but instead of having to do what we did earlier, we're just gonna click down on the default, and we're gonna go to your mom, and it's gonna bring the exact settings we had up set on that one. Ideally, you're gonna to want to adjust your audio accordingly to each video you're shooting and each environment you're in, but if you know you got a lot of talking head stuff, a lot of the same sets, and you're using the exact same setup, this will save you a lot of time. That's it for me today, guys. Those are some five quick tips inside Resolve 16 to help you out. Drop me a comment below. Let me know on some tutorials you wanna see coming up with Resolve. Hit that thumbs up on the way out. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already with the bell notification on so you don't miss any of my new awesome videos coming out. I'm the Iron Giant, you guys are amazing, I'm out.